Have you ever wondered how fast these things are? We can show the speed of these objects and animals simply by using a number and a unit. But when it comes to comparing them, it's not exactly clear how much exactly a plane is faster than a snail. You might be tempted to divide 600 by 30 and get 20 times as an answer. But something feels wrong here because you haven't paid attention to these scales by which the speeds are expressed. All of these scales are used in everyday life to talk about the speed of an object or an animal or anything. But in physics, we need a kind of reference scale so that when we talk about speed, we know in which scale we are writing our numbers. This standard scale or unit or dimension for speed is meters per second. And it's very important to know how we can express different scales in meters per second. So let's see how we can write 1 mile per hour in meters per second. 1 mile is 1.6 kilometers or 1600 meters. And 1 hour is 60 minutes or 3600 seconds. So 1 mile per hour is equal to 1600 over 3600 meters per second, which is 4 over 9 meters per second. So the speed of the plane in meters per second is 267. Now let's move on to inch per minute. Every inch is 0 0.0254 meters, and it is because every centimeter is a hundredth of a meter, which can be easily expressed as 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. And every minute is 60 seconds, so 1 inch per minute can be written as 0.00042 meters per second or in scientific notation as 4.2 times 10 to the power of minus 4 meters per second. So the speed of a snail is 1.26 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meters per second. Finally, to find the speed of the car in meters per second, we can follow the same routine to find it to be 27.8 meters per second. So keep in mind that when we write the speed of a car in kilometers per hour, it is bigger than the number for meters per second. So by dividing the speed of a plane by the speed of a snail in meters per second, we find that a plane is roughly 20,000 times faster than a snail, not 20 times.